Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Darksiders 3. In this video we're gonna continue on in the Water Temple, which is not the Water Temple, but then again, when you think about it, it basically is the Water Temple. So last episode I'm pretty sure I unlocked this door, that's what I did. And... Oh yeah, this dude! It's been a while since I've... Oh, mother... Fucker, okay. Well, okay. Apparently, in the time I've not played, I have forgotten how to play this game. That, is, that attack is a motherfucker. Nice. I'm assuming this hammer is the best. Like, weapon against this dude. Take care of the little ones. Okay, you can dodge that. Just a little bit difficult. Do you wanna maybe... Okay. Chill out. We're good. No need to panic. Actually, I kind of need to panic. Did I pick up a heal from that other skeleton? Alright. He's almost dead. I thought it was the last time around as well. I almost got him dead. And then he decided to go Super Saiyan. Slash Ultra Instinct. And fuck me up. Nice. Ooh. Oh, come on. Your HP bar is gone. What the hell? Damn. No HP left and still kicking my ass. Alright, let me get my shit back. With a very welcome Nephilim's respite. I'm out of heals again. It honestly didn't take long. Anyways, I didn't get a chance to properly introduce this episode. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played. I've been focusing on some other stuff, namely like streaming and all that. Which, you know. Speaking of streaming, it's what I'm doing tomorrow, Saturday. So, you know. If you guys want to see some doink Resident Evil... Uh, I always said Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 2. Yeah, if you actually want to see a good Resident Evil game, come join tomorrow. Like, last week nobody came to the stream for some reason. And then... I looked at... I was watching a couple of other people and... Apparently YouTube's... I, I can swim. YouTube's um, notification system is once again broken, which kind of always is broken, but now there's some like major issues with it. So again, you know, I don't like self-promote too much, but guys, if you don't have my post notifications turned on, you know, the little bell icon, uh, make sure to do that because it's pretty much the only guaranteed way to get my videos. Just thinking of where the hell I need to knock this thing. Okay, I'm assuming we have to swim up and look at it. Yeah, so we can get on top of this. Right, let me just see. And I get the idea. You need to knock it somewhere to advance because I assume you cannot because you cannot grab onto this one. Oh, okay, I see. So actually what you need to do is push this one oh yeah you need to charge it. So that one's gonna be fine there. Not well not fine but 
That one's gonna stay at the back. And this one will... Go and be the main platform. Bit of light puzzle solving action, as they say. You know. Gotta have that sometimes. As I said before, you know, I actually kind of like puzzles in these types of games. I think Darksiders 1 in particular had very good puzzles. 2 had fewer. 2 was more about, you know, platforming and Prince of Persia shit. But hey, that's fun as well. Is breaking all your furniture. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Chill out, chill out. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna murder you. How many of these fools have I rescued? Quite a few at this point. I've already gotten a reward for it though. A pat on the back in the form of a PS trophy. Is this the thing from Sloth? It's the same enemy, isn't it? Just looking at how much more damage my... Oh, okay, frame drop. It's not even a frame drop, just lag. What up, Volgrim? I was just about to mention, you know, that it would be really nice to have a Volgrim tunnel. See, if I'm not dealing enough damage with my shit, it's probably because I need to increase Arcane. The hammer is still not very upgraded for me. Haven't put a lot of points into it. Speaking of, maybe that's something... Maybe that's something we should fix. Serpent Hole 2... Maker's Forge. Really interested to see um, just how this game pans out in the long run. That's what I wanted to mention because I hope, I really hope that it sells enough for them to make a fourth one with uh, Strife. That's all I want because, you know, when this series was almost cancelled, basically, I mean, Darksiders 2 came out in 2012, so we didn't see shit for a long time and pretty much this game was confirmed to be cancelled, they just like revived it um but i'm hoping that this at least sold enough to warrant a sequel oh shit yeah For some reason this weapon deals like very little damage all right wait 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 oh he's getting more chummy with us he didn't like us, I'll tell you that. Manto oh wait, I have one of these. Uh, we can get... Amount of Wrath Bar generated per minute. Or I could spend it on this. Wait, I'm lacking a demonic artifact. Hmm. I'm guessing the an angelic one is better. Yeah. Let's equip it too. I didn't realize I picked one up. Uh, Wrath. Which one is best? Best at like. Which one do I have on most of the time? I uh, hear this one. In this area, I'm guessing you gotta put it always on the one that you have out most of the time. 
You get what I mean, since it's gonna be generating wrath per minute. By the way, I'm like getting very close to finishing my outstanding games. It took a little longer. I was planning on switching to my aforementioned stream schedule, uh, like towards the end of January, but you know, I guess I had more of these games left over than I thought. And you know, I didn't completely stop streaming and all that. So yeah. Neo, I'm at the end of this game. I don't know. Scent? Gluttony. Gluttony? Wait, hold on. Which one is gluttony, though? Oh, it's gonna be an underwater boss. Maybe not. This looks like a. This straight up looked like a boss arena. Pretty sure it straight up is a boss arena. So where the fuck is the boss? Oh, there he is. So this thing is gluttony. This fat, um, big ass kraken thing. Because they were like theorizing on that. Is it gluttony? Is it not? You know, they were making Vati videos. Uh, with that lore, I'm going to have to swim. But then I don't remember. I guess they came to the conclusion that it's not. But I hate these things. I swear these things are impossible to dodge. Probably not impossible, but very annoying to dodge, I'll say that. I'm out of Nephilim. Yeah. Alright. It's all good. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh fuck. Cause I feel like I skipped a boss straight up. Because these bros... Yeah, there's another Volgrim thing. What the hell? Okay, this is not... I'm getting ahead of myself, a la... Whatchamacallit. When I fought... Sloth. Don't even ask me to keep up with the names of these things. Alright. We're going back, boys. Through the minefield. Because apparently I'm an idiot. And this is not... This is so weird. Like, I thought, but maybe I'm just an idiot. That he would trigger as soon as... You know, we, we got into the boss room since it is a boss what is this though I can't interact with Cause to me it looks like hmm very very interesting the reason I say that is because With this game, you never know if this shit is like glitched or not. I mean, technically, I'm fucking out of uh, healing items anyways, so I think the smart thing to do here would be to commit seppuku and then we can, sorry, commit sodoku and then we can restart. 
Even if I trigger the boss fight, like I ain't gonna I'm gonna get through this with zero healing items and shit. This is so stupid. I wish for Volgrim checkpoint. I've said it so many times and none of the game's developers are listening to me that you gotta you gotta have the goddamn what you call it, refill your HP. The Volgrim rest areas. Like it's a checkpoint. Like checkpoints should you know, this isn't survival horror. This isn't Resident Evil 2. <clears throat> Speaking of, tomorrow I'm streaming Resident Evil 4. See you there, 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time. You know, you gotta shill yourself. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. I can teleport to the... <laughs> I got really scared. Yeah, this is not like that. I was really scared for a second before I realized how this game works. It's just how do I trigger this fat motherfucker? Aside from saying that to him. This gluttony, I mean. I really thought I just I was just gonna drop in and the boss fight would start as you know boss fights tend to do nah maybe it's not maybe I can't do it what if I need whatever that thing is? And what if this is like a, a late... Yeah, what if you got a Metroidvania it? You know, that you don't... I don't have access to whatever it's needed. Whatever it's needed. Whatever is needed. But then like, what other sin is left? Wrath. Cause Wrath ain't dead, is he? Alright, we'll move on. Just because of the stupid pointer, you know. So if I have a brain fart, I do apologize. Can you even call this a brain fart? Yeah, cause it's like really pushing you towards these like weird walls. So I'm guessing we're gonna get like an ice power too. It's the only one that would make sense. Does look like an ice wall, whatever that is. You know, I try to dodge these every single time. Like, I'm not being an asshole. Alright, welcome. Call of Cthulhu. Finally. Little bitches. Told you, easy as hell. Took no damage at all. As I always tend to not take damage. Alright, which one is it gonna be? I mean, you're still killing them. Yeah, the hammer weapon is not good against these guys. It's way too slow. This... The electric lance, though. That's a little bit better. Okay, this is the exact same spot. Just making sure I ain't missing anything. Hey, new enemies. At least this game has new enemies. Unlike... Uh, what is this thing doing? 
Oh. Aside from it deciding to suddenly kill me. He's just calling its little minions over. Yeah, that didn't work out too well, did it? So yeah, unlike um, Neo, this game actually has... Why you gotta say it like that? I'm fucking this spider up. Which is good. Although, I don't mind spiders too much. Invigoration core. Dang, hella good shit. Oh, I thought that was a... What the hell is an invigoration core then? I should be able to bust that with that. When you think about it, it's a giant ass hammer. As I was saying, yeah, in fact, I I won the spider, a tarantula, when I was little. Uh, like, what the hell? It's gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? Oh, is the art tray? Oh, shit. That must wait tons. How? <laughs> it's all in the wrist. That's what she said. Literally what she said. Uh, so, yeah. When I was about... I don't know, like six or seven. I decided I wanted a pet. And, of course, I said I wanted a tarantula. So, my mom being pretty scared of spiders, she was like, if you get one, fine, but I'm moving away. Uh, so, I was like, alright, let's not get a tarantula. I'm gonna get a snake. And my dad, who's very afraid of snakes, was like, yeah, if you get one, I'm moving away. So, couldn't have that one either. And we compromised on turtles. And I got a pair of turtles, which were actually pretty solid pets. Uh, until you realize that they never stop growing and they live for like 25 years. So I think one of them died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other one just kept growing and being... More and more of an asshole. <laughs> Holy shit. Quite the physics on that. And it's got it got to the point where we were moving and we decided to give it to a person who basically he's like a no it was a she actually. I, I don't remember too much, but it was a she and she had like a ton of turtles, huge lake in the back of the garden and all that. So, yeah. Weird to think about that. That turtle is probably still alive. Because, like I said, they live for like 25 years. So, yeah, that thing is probably still kicking out there somewhere. How did that hit miss? Dang. It's gonna be a shortcut, ain't it? My shortcut senses, yep, they smell the shortcut. Correctly, too. Oh. I was like, what, cutscene? Nah. It's me walking into the barrier. It's not even a barrier, it's a handrail. Oh yeah, okay. Damn. 
Damn, she's like pissed at him. I guess it makes sense. You know, that she would hate gluttony the most. It's pretty funny. Oh shit. What the hell are even these things? But then, like, it's weird because we encountered Gluttony before, so it's like, what's the issue? Oh, is she like rotting or he? Probably, it's probably he. Looks like it's rotting or something. Is the rotten? I don't know why I have such an obsession with this weapon. I keep using it, and it's like. It's like, by far not the best of these weapons that I have. Thanks Lock-On for being cooperative. What an asshole group of enemies. Sheesh. Oh, bitch. I was like, there go all my Nephilim respites. And that really was the case. That's where I gotta like... I feel like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bash its face in. Bash? I said it weirdly. Because I was gonna say bust and bash at the same time. And it's like, you know, they just kind of jumbled together. Oh. Thought I was being real smart by discovering something new. Not the case. Not the case. Alright, cutscene. Knew it. I see a Volgrim thingy. Oh, shit. It's looking tasty. That's a big ass leg. Oh, yeah, it's gluttony. Ugh. Cantaloupe. Yeah, I hate cantaloupes too. Damn. Not what I was expecting. He's looking ugly. Reminds me of that thing in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. It reminds me of that. I just watched. I was just watching the cutscene because this thing is so weird. It's way too many mouths. Oh shit! Uh oh. Probably not the best idea. Oh, shit. 
This boss fight is gonna piss me off. I have no heals. Mm -mm, wonderful. Great. He reminds Norg, that's what he's called. Norg from Final Fantasy VIII. You know what, which one it, he is. If you've played Final Fantasy VIII, you for sure remember which one Norg is. Oh, this is the Norg of this game, except he's looking hella annoying. But it's okay. Hopefully it ain't gonna take this long to load every single time. I swear I saw one of those like Volgrim checkpoints in the background, because it's gonna send me hella back. Oh no, no, it's an auto-activating one. Well, that is very... Very convenient, I'd say. he doing? Oh, he's throwing up. There's a lot of HP. You can't, like, hmm. Maybe you just gotta, oh. You just gotta get back, don't you, against that. Because it looks... Like, not possible to dodge. Not like I'm sucking at dodging, even though I am, but it looks like you can't really iframe through that, which I guess makes sense. Just gotta get back. How oh, man, is it gonna take... I always forget how long it takes for this game to load. Yes. Sit here and twiddle with your dick until it does. Okay, it doesn't cover the whole arena. Okay. Nice. That attack looks hella easy to avoid. He's gonna do his blast now. No, he's not. Gonna do his freak out. It's a weird lock on thing. Like, do you see where it's locking on? He has a fuck. He has a lot of HP. Holy sh! Oh, that's why I was taking damage. Oh shit! Dang, command grab. This boss looks difficult, man. A lot of HP. Assuming he has some other fuckery as well. Like second phase. That arena was for sure a boss arena that I was at before. Alright, let's give it one more shot. A couple of more shots. What one more like solid attempt? The fire one is not the best to use. 
Okay, two. gonna do is blast now sort of does that go away that toxic shit he spills can't get the perfect dodge there you go. Didn't get the counter though. Oh no, the command grab. I mean, I know it's not a command grab, but please don't tell me that's insta kill. It's not. Thought I was out of range. It's all good. It's such a weird voice. No! Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Well, I officially don't know how to avoid that. Maybe just like... Because it sucks you in. Just get away from him, maybe. Because it comes out of nowhere. Fucking SPDs me. It's not even an SPD. Those... I keep coming up with the Final Fantasy VIII refer references. There was also a someone like that in FF8. The one that like sucked you in. The Wind Monster. Pandemonium. That's the one. That's a someone that's never been in any other fucking Final Fantasy. That's for sure. Like, yeah, maybe not the... Not the smartest summon or... I don't know. I kind of like that summon. Oh! Yeah, just do one less. Okay, yeah. This is a bunk attempt. This is dealing no damage. I yes, should start with the lock on. Ouch. Maybe I shouldn't. Why are you doing that? He's going for just two now. Weird. Nah, you gotta lock on. It's worse if you don't. His AoE does a lot of damage too. His little poison pools. Okay, okay, that's. What? How long does he do it for? Shit. Come on, bro. 
Okay. Lasts for way longer than I thought. So basically the entire arena is covered in this shit. I think I started doing well towards the end here when I ran out of heals, but yeah, this, this ain't gonna happen. How the hell did I avoid that? Just wanna see his next phase, bro, seriously. Alright. This might be the entire thing, though. I don't know. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This is looking like a weird, weird boss. He's pretty tough, actually. Uh, the previous one was Sloth, right? He, I thought he was gonna be annoying, but he ended up being kinda easy. I just gotta, just had to whack the shit out of him and then he was dead. But this dude has like a good variety of attacks. And the poison, it's kind of a bitch that the poison doesn't go away. The AoE poison, I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, we're for sure gonna get some new tools after this. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see all of you next time. And I hope to see you tomorrow on the stream as well. So yeah, peace out guys.